Everybody, I'm Randy and I'm Diane and this is Zephyr Travels and Diane are you ready for some retail therapy I am today we're visiting Mall of America which I understand from Randy is the largest or the biggest tourist attraction in the state of Minnesota it's the most attended most people more people come to the Mall of America than any place else in uh, Minnesota and 20% of them come from out of state like us right so this is a destination place it's it's right next to the airport you can actually fly in here and take a uh, public uh, train to the Mall of America there are two hotels here in the Mall of America a Western and a Radisson that you can stay at and the mall has 500 stores oh my goodness so let's go in and check out some of these stores all right So we, it's probably a little noisy here. We're gonna do our best so you can hear us. Um, we're gonna pose the question while we're here. The Mall of America, is it the future of malls or is it a dinosaur already dying? Because malls are going away. More and more cities, malls are closing up. And so what's the story here? Is this a, a model that will survive and we're gonna see more malls follow this or is it gonna be you know, the next mall that's gonna close? Well, I can't imagine it's going to close. Um, it probably will be a destination. True. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of things here besides just shopping. Right. Um, so we're going to go check some of this stuff out and take you along with us. As you can see, Mall of America is embracing the future. You can get your Amazon's packages delivered right here to the mall, pick them up, and do your rest of your shopping. Well, we found our favorite store and spent some of our money. So now we're gonna continue on and check out other things in the mall. original box of 64 Crayola crayons that every child of my age wanted when they were that young. And the reason they wanted it was because of the crayon sharpener in the back. If you had this, you were it. We found our way through the mall and it was kind of hard to talk in there so we're going to talk now more about the mall than we could inside. Yeah, it's, well, it's a lot. Yeah. I, you could probably... It's more than a mall. Yeah, it's more than a mall, but if you just went there for the shopping, you said there was over 500 stores. 500 stores. Um, some unusual stores, some that you probably have in your own area. But it was kind of neat to walk around. You could easily get confused. There's four floors. There's actually uh, four floors, three circles, you know, three floors that are circles that take you around most of the stores. And then there's an entertainment section on the fourth floor, which isn't all the way around. Right, and then of course they have the 
what is it called Nickelodeon universe in the middle yeah with all the rides so we walked around there watched the rides and uh, we determined we we thought about going on at least one ride but because of what we're hearing we just didn't want to risk yeah we didn't want to risk leaving the camera someplace or right. taking it on the ride at least the kind of ride we would have ridden right so we decided against it but they actually the rides look pretty good yeah, they look kind of neat. They're different rides, different than you would see at, you know, like Disney or Universal. They're more like you would see like at a Darien Lake or, you know, Six, Six Flags. Flags. Yeah. yeah, something yeah. like that. And being in an enclosed, smaller space, they're kind of, especially like the roller coaster type rides, they're compact. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but it, it was fun. It's definitely, if you happen to be in the area, I mean, we made a point of coming here because yeah, it was well, on our th way home. Yeah, and you know, like I, I said at the beginning, this is, you know, Minnesota's number one tourist attraction. More people come here than any other attraction in, in the state. And 20% of those people come from out of state like we did. Right. So there's a lot of people coming here just like we do for the day or whatever. You know, and the other 80% are people that live nearby that come here for mm -hmm. whatever reason. Or business. Yeah. It's right near the airport. There's what two hotels right here. Yeah. Yep. So it's very convenient. And they've got a lot of you know what, what I'd call um, uh, restaurants that you see more in tourist areas like you know um, bubblegum shrimp and Margaritaville. Uh huh. Yeah. So th there's draws like that. There's also some unique things like the Crayola land or Crayola Universe. There's a big M&M store. Big M&M store. Yep. And, uh, so definitely. You know, something that you could bring your kids and entertain your kids with. Right. So there's more than just clothes shopping or whatever like we did. Right. But it was a nice visit. Yeah, and it was interesting. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was worth coming here. And if we were in the area again, I'm sure we'd stop. Probably. Yeah. You know, you can spend a day here. You can probably come here and just, you know, come here on your way through. Or, or like us, we found a place to camp pretty close to it. Uh-huh. Um, but, you know, the parking lot where we park, there's room to park an RV, you know, so you could come with your RV. A lot of the parking is, you know, covered in, in parking garages, so you got to be careful about that. But where we parked, you could park an RV easily. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was a fun place to stop and visit. So yep, if you like I agree. this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications, and until the next time, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.